Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hemostatics. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem from frames in machines. And the problem says that a 5 pound force is applied to the handles of the vice grip. Determine the compressive force developed on the smooth bolt shank at E at the jaws. So we have to find the compressive force that is applied on this uh, shank at these jaws. So since we know that uh, while solving the frames and machines problem, we consider uh, the individual members of the whole mechanism or the whole frame. So now we are going to consider this uh, lower handle. Let's say that this is member EC. So I have drawn the free body diagram of that member EC. So the five pound force is applied on this member EC in the upward direction. So if the, if the force is applied on this lower handle in the upward direction, so it's going to pull this lower jaw in the downward direction. And as a reaction, this lower jaw will apply the force on this handle in the upward directions at E. So we will have that EY force at, in the upward direction. And similarly, when this handle is pressed in the upward direction, what it will do is that it will push this uh, lower jaw in this direction and similarly as a reaction this lower jaw will apply the opposite force on this lower handle so this lower jaw will apply the force on this handle towards the right so we will have that ex force here similarly as we can see that uh, this cd member is subjected to only two forces either this uh, CD member will be in compression or in tension. So now, if 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 this pre uh, if this lower handle is uh, pressed with some five pound force in this direction, so what it will do is that uh, it will compress this CD member, and as a reaction, this CD member will apply the force on this lower handle in this direction. So we have all those forces of CD is acting in this direction. This is EX, this is EY. So now if we consider this uh, lower handle, which is member EC of the given frame, if we apply the summation of moment about point E equals to zero, since at this particular given condition, the whole frame is in equilibrium. So the summation of moment about point E will be equal to zero and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So now as we can see that this FCD is making some angle with the horizontal. Let's say that angle is theta. So that theta is given in the form of these dimensions. The, the, this horizontal distance between C and D is three inches and the vertical distance between C and D is 1.75 inches. So we can draw a right angle triangle here. So this is 1.75, this is 3, and this is the theta. So we can find that theta if we apply tan theta. So tan theta is 1.75 divided by 3, and theta will be equal to 10 inverse 1.75 divided by 3. So 10 inverse 1.75 divided by 3. This gives me 30.256. So theta is 30.256 degrees. So at this uh, particular position, this CD member is making angle uh, 30.256 with the horizontal. So this means that the, that FCD is making that angle theta here as well. So the, here we have that theta, which is 30.256. Now we can resolve this FCD into its components. So we will have one of its components acting in this direction. So this one will be FCD cause of um, that 30.256. And here we will have the sine component. This one will be FCD sine of 30.256. Now, if we apply the summation of moment about point E, as we can see that this C and E, they are in, in line. <laughs> So this cos component is passing through that point E. So it's not going to produce the moment about that point E. So this sine component is producing the moment about that point E and it is producing the clockwise moment about point E. So the clockwise moment is negative. So you will write minus FCD 
sine of thirty point two five six and the perpendicular distance of uh, this sine component from that point e is the distance between e and c which is one inches so the moment arm of this sine component from that point e is one inch so we will multiply this with one and similarly this uh, five pound force is producing the counterclockwise moment so we can write that this is plus five and the perpendicular distance between uh, this uh, the point of application of this five point force and that uh, that e is three plus one so that is four inches so we will multiply this with four and this is equal to zero since uh, this e x and e y they are passing through that point e so they are not going to produce the moment about that point e so now from this we can write that minus f c d sine of 30.256 equals to minus 5 into 4 and from this minus will cancel out fcd will be equal to 5 into 4 divided by sine of 30.256 so 5 into 4 divided by sine of 30.256 this gives me 39 points 693 so fcd is 39.693 pounds since the force is given in pounds so we will get this fcd in pounds as well so this is 39.693 pounds similarly while considering that uh, lower handle if we apply the summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero so now we have this e x towards the right towards the right is our positive x direction so we will have e x that is plus e x and this cos component is towards the negative x so you write minus f c d cos of uh, 30.256 and that will be equal to zero and now we know the fcd value the fcd is 39.693 so now from this we can say that ex is equal to fcd cos of uh, 30.256 and fcd is 39.693 30.256 ex is so ex is 39.693 cos of uh, 30.256 so this is 34 point e x is 34.286 pounds now after this we are going to consider this uh, the free body diagram of this lower jaw so at lower jaw we will have um, let's say that at b since uh, here we have the pin joint so at pin joint we will have b x and b y let's say let's say this is that b x and this is that b y and this jaw is going to apply the force on this shank in the upward direction and as a reaction it's going to apply the force in the opposite direction so since we are going to consider the forces on this lower jaw so uh, the the this shank will apply the reaction force on this lower jaw in this direction that is in the downward direction and since this jaw is making some angle so we will have that force at some angle and that angle is given here that is 20 degree so this jaw is making 20 degree with the horizontal so uh, the force applied by this shank on this jaw will be making 20 degree uh, with the vertical so we will have that 20 degree angle here so this fa is making 20 degree angle here as well so now while considering the member be let me write that member At E, we will have that same um, forces E X and E Y, but they, uh, here they will be in the opposite direction since these were the forces applied on this handle. So the, as a reaction, this handle will apply the the equal and opposite forces at this point E. So we will have the E X force here in the opposite direction of this one, and we will have E Y force in the downward direction. Now, since we want to find this F A. So we do not know bx and by values we know only ex value so we have to apply the summation of moment about point b so the summation of moment about point b equals to zero 
now the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive now as we can see that um, this ui is passing through that point b so it's not going to produce the moment about point b and this ex is producing the clockwise moment and similarly we can resolve this fa into its components so it will have two components we will have uh, the cost component of fa this one will be fa cos of 20 and here we will have the sine component this one will be fa sine of 20 so now this fa sine of 20 is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about point b and this is going to produce the uh, counterclockwise moment about point v so we will have uh, plus fa uh, sine of 20 and the moment arm of uh, this sine component from that point b is this perpendicular distance between that point a and b so that is 0 0.75 so we will multiply this with 0 0.75 similarly um, this cost component is again producing the counterclockwise moment so this is fe cos of 20 and the moment arm of this cost component from that point b is this distance which is 1.5 inch so this is the perpendicular distance between this point a and b which is given here this is 1.5 inches so we will write plus f a cos of 20 into 1.5 and similarly uh, this ey is passing through that point b it's not going to produce the moment about point b ex is producing the um, ex is producing the clockwise moment about point b so we will write minus ex and the moment arm of this ex from that point b is the perpendicular distance between this point b and e which is one plus 0 0.75 so this distance is 1.75 so we will multiply this ex with 1.75 and this is equal to zero so now from this we can write that fa into fa is common in both of these terms so we can write that fa is fa multiplied by 0 0.75 sine of 20 plus 1.5 cos of 20 equals to 1.75 equals to 1.75 ex and we know ex value ex is this this is 34.286 so let's put that value which is uh 34.286 and fa will be equal to 1.75 divided by this that is uh, 0 0.75 plus 1.5 cos of 20. 1.75 multiplied by 34.286 uh, 0 0.75 sine of 20 plus 1.5 cos of 20. So this gives us Fa the that is equal to 36 pounds so the the force of a is 36 pounds so if we apply the 5 pound forces in the vertical direction at the handles we will get uh, 36 pound force at this shank so this means that uh, 36 divided by 5 we get 7.2 times more force at uh, here at the jaws so this is the benefit of uh, this wise grip and this is the benefit of the frames so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe ingenious academy for such more problems from hibler statics